Hello, all you beautiful people. This is Intentional Healing, and I am Nicole Bridger. Today, I want to talk to you about self-sabotage. It's not an easy thing to talk about. It's a little bit hard to see how we are keeping something we want from ourselves. And it can be really hard to see how unkind we are to ourselves. So first of all, what is self-sabotage? To sabotage is to intentionally ruin somebody's path to success. So if somebody's trying to win a race, um, I would maybe intentionally uh, try to trip them or do something um, that would make them lose. Self-sabotage is when we, in our subconscious, keep ourselves from the things that we want by intentionally making us lose. So let me give an example, actually a recent example for me. Um, I've been doing this work for a number of years and the work works. So things that I've been desiring for, gosh, it feels like my lifetime, uh, have started to flow in. I met this incredible man who's just so loving and genuine and has just a gorgeous heart. I also am creating this incredible business and helping people, and it's all flowing so beautifully. I don't even need to, um, to try or control it or, or push it. My body has changed. I am, you know, a size medium, which I doubted would ever happen for me. Certainly not with this much ease. I barely even think about it. I eat what I want to. I exercise when I feel like it. Losing weight is not, you know, front of my mind every minute like it used to be. So now I'm experiencing all these gorgeous things in the three areas of my life that I was really wanting them. And then all of a sudden I freak out. And when I listen to the panic, it's saying, oh, is it okay? Can I really enjoy this? Is it all going to fall away? Is it going to hurt? So in that fear, there's also another voice that says, you know, do I really deserve it? Am I really worthy? Can I trust it? Can I trust myself? Is it possible for it to be this easy? Who do I think I am? What about everybody else who's still suffering? These are the kinds of voices that have us self-sabotage when things start to feel good. You might have some of the voices I mentioned. You might have different voices. And it also depends on the specific thing that's starting to flow in. My voice around my body is very different than the voice around my relationship. The voice around my body is, uh-oh, is it safe? I don't like it when people comment on my body. Uh-oh. Every time I've lost weight, it's all come back. I better, now that I've achieved it, I better be afraid of losing it. The voice around relationships, because of my experience, is a lot more anger and resentment. That voice is terrified of being with someone who will hurt me again, someone who will lie and cheat and be mean. That voice says, 
it's not possible. You can't trust him. Nope, he's going to use you. Don't let your guard down. You don't really deserve the love that you dream of. It's not really possible to have that kind of genuine love. Love hurts. And with my career, the voice is a little bit more, no, you gotta work hard. There's something you're forgetting. No, it's not possible. You gotta push, push, push. You can't have it too easy. And even a voice around money coming in. That I can't trust myself with money. That as soon as it comes out, it flies out. That I can't get too comfortable because you never know when the other shoe is going to drop. So I'm sharing all of this with you so that you start to become aware of the voices that you're having that we don't allow to speak, we don't say it out loud, and yet they are underneath it running the show. So instead of denying that you have these voices and fears and thoughts in your head, what would be a lot more productive is to actually just admit that they're there so that we can deal with them. So why do we self-sabotage? Because underneath it all, there's a little part of you that's terrified. Because we have learned a certain way of existing as a survival mechanism since we were kids, it's really terrifying to start to live from a different place. So as you do this work that I've been talking about, as you start to connect to your true self, your love self, your higher self, there will be this resistance, this part of you that says, oh no, it's not safe. And then try to ruin it for you. So for me, with my relationship, I started just feeling angry. Like, I just wanted to be angry with him. And when I listened to that voice that was terrified of being with somebody mean, who I couldn't trust, that voice almost wanted to pick a fight, make him wrong, push him away before he could hurt me. And it almost wants to validate that my biggest fear that I'm unlovable is actually true. So I better push it away before it gets me. This is what's going on in our subconscious. Same thing for my body. As I start to exist in this place that I have been dreaming of and desiring, and it all starts coming true. And this fear kicks in. Oh, no, it's not safe. It's not possible. I have seen, I've been watching myself, and there are moments where I'm sitting in the uncomfortable feelings and the fear starts to kick in where I want to go and binge eat. Almost like a way of punishing myself. See, I told you you weren't lovable. I told you it wasn't possible. Again, as a way of verifying our deepest fear. Holding us back in this pattern. So how do we break free from this? And please start to look at all the interesting ways that you self-sabotage, because it might look really different. And again, look at it from a place of curiosity, not a place of judgment. As long as you are making yourself wrong, then that thing will just hold. You gotta love this part of you. It's been trying really hard to keep you safe. 
and I know it doesn't necessarily feel like it, but when you start to actually listen to what it's afraid of, you can see that it was trying to get you the thing you wanted. So how do we break the cycle of self-sabotage? The only way is when that voice kicks in and there's a part of you that wants to get angry at your partner or go and binge eat like you hate yourself. You talk to that voice and you say, I hear you. I know you're scared. but I've got you. And we are in the process of learning how to exist from this place of love. We are safe. And you take a deep breath and you center yourself into your true heart center, your higher self. Perhaps you do a meditation, following your breath and seeing that gorgeous white light at your heart center. And you listen to this voice, which is your true voice. And it says, you are already loved and so worthy, just as you are. I hope that that's helpful for you guys. I certainly know what it feels like to go through the cycle of almost getting there and sabotaging myself. And then this crazy kind of battle with myself to get the courage and the strength to try again, to sabotage again. Please know that you're not alone. This is something that every human experiences, whether they're willing to admit it or not. It is just part of the human experience. So please love that part of you. And connect deeply to your higher self that just wants to shine, wants to love, wants to play, wants to be, be without all the rules and restrictions and and fear and pain. And I promise you that the more you practice this, the easier it will get. Just continue bringing that awareness And with so much love and kindness, coming back to the play of love. I wish you all the best with your (laughs) self-sabotage. Be good to yourself. 